across. 75, 75 in the open, 75 in the open. There's two guys over there, two guys over there. Nice. There's okay, still so one guy in the here. Might be here. One guy in the park boy. He's outside, behind the tree. Parked again, hit me in the blue. We're gonna be a guy behind there, you. There, 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 yeah. Absolutely so. Close on me, close on me, in the grass. Yeah, so I started gaming about 15 years ago, on PC gaming specifically. Um, I started early in Medal of Honor and then moved to Call of Duty 1 before moving to Call of Duty 2. In that time, I also played a couple of games, uh, such as the Battlefield franchise. Um, and then after that, I eventually moved to COD 4, where that's where I really took a shine to esports. And this is really where I put a lot of effort in. You know, I wanted to be a pro player after watching a lot of the COD 2 players. Um, and this is really where I predominantly made my name in gaming. I spent about seven years playing for some of the best teams. Uh, in the COD4 era and while I was doing that I was also playing League of Legends a lot, I played it since the beta um, so I also kind of pursued that on the side but eventually it didn't take off um, and then I was after five years of playing League of Legends I kind of wanted to play an FPS game again um, I was craving, craving to shoot people so I moved to CS, a game that I really didn't feel like I would ever play because I was always saying in COD4 that I, you know, CS wasn't the type of game that I'd want to play um, but after a while I actually enjoyed CS and I, I did play the game for a couple of years, I attended some LANs, I played in quite a few teams. Um, but in CS my time was really mostly spent making uh, YouTube videos and streaming the game and made a lot of tutorials that became popular on YouTube. Um, and then PUBG came out and now you know, I spend a lot of my time on PUBG and I'm really happy to be playing for G2 in PUBG. Yeah, so being a professional gamer and playing full time is something that you know I've always wanted to do. Even back in the time in COD 4, we weren't all playing uh, full time in games. We were all you know studying and stuff because there wasn't really the money there to put it to put behind it. Um, right now, I work for a company called Bulkhead, and um, we're working on a game called Battalion 1944, which is an esport focused game. Um, yeah, so right now I'm, I'm kind of balanced between working on Battalion and also pursuing PUBG and just hoping you know it takes me somewhere good. As a spectator sport for esports, PUBG is a very interesting game, I think. Obviously, the player base is very huge. There's a huge community around. It's one of the top stream uh, games on Twitch. Um, it obviously brings a lot of challenges, trying to put 100 people in one server and you know, capture all the moments. But I think if they can somehow make it work, then it can really push the uh, boundaries for like spectator sports and esports. Um, the game itself is obviously in early access, so it does have a lot of problems right now, but I think that they're working on them uh, pretty rapidly. And overall, I think it can, you know, be a really good game to watch and play at the end of the day. So with PUBG's esports side growing, we were looking for an organisation and G2 Esports was our first choice because from an outside point of view, it came across as a very professional, but at the same time, a very friendly organisation. By being a part of G2, they obviously provide a lot of support for our team and it makes the players have a lot higher aspirations and work harder so we can get the best results that we can within the game. And we're pretty much playing about eight hours a day, just training, going over our, our strats in uh, custom games. This is an exciting new era for G2 Esports and especially our team. We're going to be practicing hard and hopefully we can do the G2 fans proud. If you want to see more from our team, then you can pretty much find us on any of G2 social media. I know Ocelot was convincing you to press the button by showing off his biceps. Well, I can do the same. Press it.